So here's how to uh, link your USB ports and your CD drive to VirtualBox. Now first thing you want to do, let's go ahead and run VirtualBox. And if you're already running VirtualBox, I'm going to have to require you to exit your OS's. Shut them down fully. This is the only window you want right now. So yeah. Okay. Now click on the OS that you want. I only have Windows 7 so far. I know a lot of people who have plenty of OS's under their virtual box. So I'm going with Windows 7. And then once you highlighted the one you want, click settings. And let's get the CD drive out of the way. You want to go to storage under ID controller, click this part. If that says empty, that's default. Don't worry about it. Um, you want to click this little CD icon and pick host drive D. Now, if your CD drive isn't under the letter D, then just make sure it's your CD drive, whatever letter it is. And after you got that out of the way, click on pass through because by default, it's not clicked. So check that off and CD drives done. You want now let's go to USB. USB is pretty simple. You just add the, the uh, drive you want, flash drive, hard drive, doesn't matter. And then it'll be listed here. And then by default, this is not checked off. But when you do check it off, um, you'll be prompted that you need the expansion pack. And now don't worry, I'll have the expansion pack in the description for you to download. And I'm pretty sure it'll be in a zip file. So um, be prepared to unzip that. <laughs> so let's get this started. Uh, we're running this. Okay. <sighs> now the CD drive uh, has a CD with music, and um, I have a hard drive, so. Okay. Okay. So you see, here's my hard drive. And here's the CD. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.